Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today we're going to finish off my Black Friday haul for 2022. And this will include stuff that I got since my last video, um, particularly stuff from Vinegar Syndrome. And then Amazon was backordered on a couple things, and I finally got those in. And then also, I think that's pretty much it. I think some of them were like Best Buy but for the most part it was just amazon and vinegar syndrome so let's start off with the blu-rays i got two blu-rays and then the rest are 4k so the first one is the perfect blue blu-ray and i just recently watched this movie this year and i was pleasantly surprised and i really did enjoy this one it is so trippy and you've got an unreliable narrator and you don't know what's real and what's not and it's just a really good movie and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you've never seen it. I believe it is on Shudder currently or you could just get the G Kids Blu-ray from Shout Factory. I then picked up the, the only Blu-ray that I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome. This is Lux Eterna. And this is a film by Gaspar Noe. And this was really limited. And usually when I partake in the Vinegar Syndrome sales, it is because I am buying something that I want, for one. <laughs> and then two, it is something that is on, still has like the limited edition slipcover. And it is almost out of, limited edition slipcovers basically. So I picked this one up and I have not seen this movie. I do like Gaspar Noe and I look forward to giving this one a watch. On the back it says, thank God I'm an atheist. It does come with, this is like a nice, it's pretty sturdy slipcover. And then it comes with the Blu-ray and also a booklet about the movie. So I am really looking forward to that. And here we have inside uh, some more, and then we also have a reversible artwork. So that's cool. This is from the Vinegar Syndrome partner line. And this is the Yellow Veil Pictures is the person, or is the company that put this one out. And they sell it on Vinegar Syndrome, and then also I believe on Amazon and stuff like that. So really excited to check this one out. Then we have an upgrade to my collection. This is the 4K of a Mamma Mia. The price pretty much dropped on this like quite a bit. So I wanted to pick this one up and upgrade my collection. This is another upgrade to my collection. This is Ender's Game. And I need to rewatch this one. I remember not particularly liking it the first time I watched it. So I definitely want to give this one another watch. Then we have a Skyscraper, which I have not seen. I do know that Nev Campbell is in this, so that's pretty cool. I am a big fan of Nev Campbell. Not so much a big fan of The Rock, but what are you gonna do? I figured, I do kind of like, this does remind me of like disaster movies, so I do enjoy those. So let's see how this is. I also picked up Mission Impossible. This is the first Mission Impossible. Um, if you're following along on the saga, this is like, I don't even know what number, uh, Tom Cruise movie that I picked up this, uh, Black Friday, uh, after saying that I did not like Tom Cruise, which, you know, I am interested in his movies, don't like him as a person. And yet again, another Tom Cruise movie. This is, uh, Mission Impossible 4. So I don't have, I believe I have all of them on digital that I got for free somehow. I don't even remember how, but uh, I now have the first, or I have three of them now, I believe, on 4K. So look forward to getting the other ones and giving these a watch. This is another upgrade to my collection. This is G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. These are movies that I've never watched. I know they came out quite a few, 
while ago, several, probably close to a decade ago, but uh, yeah, 2009. So I do look forward to checking this one out. I tend to not really watch a lot of action movies, but you know, I need to start expanding my horizons and things like that. And then we have another one that I'm really excited to watch. This one is very in line with Perfect Blue from what I've been told. And this is Akira. And this is the 4K version of Akira. And I don't know a whole lot about this movie other than it is a like sci-fi horror-esque movie. But I'm really looking forward to checking this one out and seeing what it's all about. And then we have one of the big ones, well, the last one, but one of the big new releases from Vinegar Syndrome. I had this pre-ordered at their, like, flash sale before Black Friday that you could pre-order or whatever. And so I had pre-ordered this, and this is a Roadhouse. So I had the previous Shout Select title, but this one's on 4K, so I wanted to upgrade it. And it has, I believe, every single feature that that Shout Select movie had, plus some more. So we have this really, this is a new type of slipcover that I've, or like case, that Vinegar Syndrome has done. I don't have any releases like this, but I also haven't been buying a ton of Vinegar Syndrome uh, right now. So this one opens up, it's got like a magnetic uh, flap right here, and then you open it up, and we've got some more artwork, and then we have a little ribbon. They used to do collector's editions like this. I have quite a few like DVD collector's editions like this. And so I think that that's kind of interesting that they are bringing that back. And so on the this side we have, it says Double, Do uh, Double Deuce Live Music in Jasper, Missouri, which is interesting. I am from Missouri. Um, I live in Missouri currently. No idea if Jasper is even a real place. <laughs> so now we have a more reasonable version of a Vinegar Syndrome release. So this is the slipcover that it comes with, um, which is nice. And then you have the actual 4K. And so you get three discs here. You get the 4K and then you get two Blu-rays. So that's pretty nice. There's lots of special features on this. So that's really cool. And then we also get a nice little booklet for the movie. So really, they went all out on this release. So that is quite good. I've not ever watched Roadhouse, but I know a lot of people really enjoy it. And now I look forward to checking it out on 4K. So that was it for everything that I picked up during Black Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you ended up picking up from Black Friday. If you did anything from like Vinegar Syndrome or Ronin Flicks or Synapse, any of those like more boutique labels, or even if you just did stuff from Amazon, like let me know what you picked up. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.